Yo, what's good everyone? So, I'm just making this little video to tell you all what I think about this season's Gladiator Circuit node. I've just finished up my stream, was doing some friendlies on there, testing out this season's Gladiator Circuit node. This is the one with the Fate Steel, Spike and the Placebo buffs. I'll put the node on screen real quick for you now, just in case you don't know. And I'll get straight to the point. I'm very, very worried about Battlegrounds this season. I don't want another season to suck because of the node. We all know how bad Crit Movie Best Shot was. And I don't want another season like that. But the power gain is way too strong. I'm going to show you some clips here. And you'll see, it, unless you're using a champion that has buff immunity, the opponent just gains way too much power. I could not avoid Domino going to an SB3 there. And then I just died off the SB3 and the bleed after. You're about to see another example of this with Mephisto. He just gains so much power. And it's basically impossible to stop Mephisto going to an SB3. It's not like I'm using champions that are buff reliant here. I'm using champions that gain no buffs. These champions only gain buffs from the dexterity mastery and the placebo buffs from the node. And even with that, the opponents are still gaining a ridiculous amount of power, a unfair amount of power. It's unmanageable. So unless you're using a buff immune champion, you're pretty much just going to be baiting out specials the entire match or you're going to get special freed. Now this node is relatively easy to fix all they would have to do is get rid of the placebo buffs and then that would make it a lot easier to handle the power gain it would make champions like havoc for example who don't rely on buffs but gain the dexterity mastery it would make those champions much more useful because the power gain as it is right now it's just way too strong there is a history with power gain metas as well. There's been plenty of power gain metas in the past and not once have people liked them. I don't know why they haven't learned from their mistakes and they've made another power gain meta. I'm really hoping Kabam have watched this, Kabam do watch this and they change the node. They really need to change it because no one wants to play a meta where the opponent's just gaining a ridiculous amount of power and you can't avoid getting special freed and you can say giraffe buff immune champions there's only so many buff immune champions in the game and what about champions like domino serpent bullseye you're not going to want to use buff immune champions for these matchups because you're going to take unavoidable damage in ways other than the node so you can't just draft buff immune champions you saw in that fight, I ate several SB3s. Havoc is a great counter to Mephisto. He's incinerate immune. I've done this matchup plenty of times. But yeah, we just eat so many special threes there. And Domino is unbearable. There's not many counters for Domino that don't gain these placebo buffs. And each time Domino gains a bar of power, she's going to go lucky. It just makes her hell to fight. It's not fun. And... Yeah, I'm really worried where Battlegrounds is heading. The nodes are... They're awful, man. Like, I'm not trying to offend anyone here. But someone else needs to work on the nodes for Battlegrounds. Because we have not had many good ones recently. They have all sucked. And, you know, it's not like I want to complain. I'm gaining a bit of reputation for complaining recently. But that's only because, you know, I love Battlegrounds. I want to see the game mode do well. And it's in such a bad place at the moment, surely because of neglect, because the nodes are trash, the rewards are trash. Battlegrounds, it doesn't need much to be a great game mode, but it's not getting, it's not getting the love it needs. It should be a absolute top priority for Kabam to make Battlegrounds the best rewards, the most fun, because it's the most replayable game mode. No one likes grinding arena, alliance war, you have to depend on other people, AQ boring, and story content nowadays is nothing special. Battlegrounds is the game mode, they need to give all their love and attention to it, and they're just not. These metas become more and more orange, you reliant, you know, every meta is basically just outdraft your opponent. It used to be outskill your opponent, 
But now, it's just outdraft your opponent. Biggest roster, luckiest person wins. Last wrong fight of the video, I guess you could say, we have this Red Skull. And Silk is a science champion. She doesn't even gain the Dexterity Mastery. She gains no buffs whatsoever. So she should be ideal for Spike. But because of those placebo buffs, none of that matters. Your opponent is still going to gain a shit ton of power, as you can see in this Red Skull fight here. And, you know, you can control these placebo buffs because when you use a special attack, you will fate steal yourself, which means you can't be inflicted with these placebo buffs. But most champions can't be spamming a special one. That's not where the damage is. That's not where most champions rotation is. And yeah, it basically just unless you're using a buff immune champion, the power gain is so stupid, man. And what about all the free-to-play players? What about all the people with tiny rosters? They definitely don't have a ton of buff immune champions. They're going to struggle the hardest in this meta. It just, uh, yeah, it sucks, man. Like, Battlegrounds, it keeps going downhill, and I really hate to see it. I'm, I'm praying they change the meta. It's not too late to change the meta. There's still time before the season starts. Even if the season starts, you can still change the meta. People will be happy, I promise. But enough of that. Enough of ranting. To end the video, we're going to end on a positive note. And I'm going to show you a couple of cool Starkey fights from this last stream. We have a rank 3 onslaught here. And, you know, even with all the power gain, Starkey just nukes this guy, like Onslaught is going to be one of the toughest defenders, spamming back to back to back specials, but Starkey's damage is too strong, his stun lock is too goaded, yeah, Starkey is going to be one of the best attackers for this meta for sure, but is there any surprise with that? Not really, Starkey's just great every single meta, like, he's the king of battlegrounds, you can't fight me on that, Juggernaut doesn't work this meta, but... Starkey does as he does every meta. You can always rely on Starkey working. Last fight of the video got this rank 3 dust and we absolutely smoked this. But yeah, if you, if some of you want to go on the forums and like voice your opinions on the node, if some of you want to comment down below, you know, anything helps. Just make your voice heard. Make Kabam know that you do not like this meta because I doubt. I doubt anyone likes this meta, like the power gain is so ridiculous, but that's going to be the end of the video, if you enjoyed it, if you liked it, um, yeah, I'd appreciate it if you'd leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, I'll get a stream started up when the season starts, so uh, yeah, see you then.